The San Diego Padres are in the midst of the most chaotic, unfortunate offseason that they've seen in recent history. How's it going everyone? My name is Fan Fryer. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be discussing Kodai Senga and how it looks like the Padres are basically out in the running of this Japanese future American League or National League superstar pitcher. So this is unfortunate for a lot of people. A lot of people are very high on Kodai Senga and you know what? I think he has the ability to be great. I 100% agree, but the way the market's demanded right now, he has the ability to get $24, $25 million a year. And just to start off talking about it on a personal note, and what you guys think is a guy who's never pitched in America worth signing $25 million a year for five years. I'm going to say no. I'm sorry. I just can't do that dollar amount. That is a lot of money for a guy that's never pitched in America and also a guy that's never performed against major league level talent consistently. Like, yes, he's seen Freddie Galvis was his teammate. Sick, Freddie Galvis was his teammate. I mean, what did Freddie Galvis do when he was on the Padres? He was a good defender, but he was very terrible at the plate. But that being said, I got to catch up with his agent at the winter meetings. Unfortunately, I could not get no video of this, but I kind of asked him, I said, what, what's, the, what's the level with the Padres and Sanga? Where is it at? And he just kind of didn't even respond. He just almost smirked at me regarding this matter. And it was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I mean, it was like, dude, what are we doing? It's really, really annoying that the Padres are just lost in the pitching market right now. We are really just lost in it. And it's very, very unfortunate the Padres could find a way to pull some moves and pull some strings and make some deals happen. But I personally believe AJ Preller's not going to sign a free agent pitcher. I think he is going to trade for an option. And yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, we want the Kodai Sangas. We want the Nate Eovaldis. We want the Carlos Rodons. But it's just not going to happen at this very, very, very moment, which is very, very unfortunate and makes me feel a little uneasy deep down inside because these are the names that I've been pushing content out for you guys to learn about these pitchers in hopes that they would come to San Diego Padres. So on that note, it just hurts me personally. But yes, we know what we got. We have decent pitchers already. We're one pitcher away, so trading for a pitcher is very, very possible. You know, you still have you Darvish. You still have Blake Snell. You still have Joe Musgrove. You still have Nick Martinez, who's probably the five at this very moment. You still have, I guess, Reese Snare. You still have, I guess, Ryan Weathers. You still have, I guess, Adrian Morhone. You still have, I guess, Julio Tehran. I mean, out of those people that I said, I guess you have, one of them is going to make a positive impact for the San Diego Padres this year. And that's very, very important to note. And while it's worth mentioning all these things, Let's discuss once again the trade targets. The trade targets are not going to be a big pitcher. Don't expect a Corbin Burns. Don't expect any of these things at these very moments. It is going to be a rocky sailing ship from here on out, which is very, very unfortunate. That's not what I wanted from the San Diego Padres. But it's what's going to happen in my personal belief system. But once again, last day of the winter meetings is going to be going on as I film this. So if I hear anything else... Guys, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord. I will keep you in the loop in all those places regarding the San Diego Padres. But once again, if you're yet to subscribe and like the video, please do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment any questions below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.